diabetic patient is in constant touch with the physician. Every one of us know that they will periodically, it might be monthly, two monthly, three monthly or whatever. They do sugars and where do they go? They go to the physicians to show sure, them. Sure, sure. So that is a meeting point. I mean, that is where your examination and everything starts. And if you could take care as well as in uh, uh, educate them about the foot complications, which uh, is in most of the places kind of uh, ignored. Everyone knows that, that diabetes has uh, can cause relate to heart problems, can kidney problems, and eye problems. So everyone reads about it, everyone speaks about it, and kind of everyone is scared about it. But no one sure. is even aware that foot, which There's is something a, called a diabetic foot, uh, which is the farthest organ from your heart as well as brain. So the least or the minimum supply of blood supply as a uh, blood as well as nerves, which are the thinnest over there, mm -hmm. it being the farthest from your brain sure. as well sure. as heart, sure. that is affected way early in your diabetic uh, history, mm -hmm. before even your heart or your eyes or other things are getting involved. Okay, doctor, first of all, tell us uh, what is the percentage among diabetics, especially type 2 cases, who get diabetic foot problems? Oh, uh, the I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly WHO percentages, but if no, you ask me experience. my personal thing, yes. almost uh, uh, not the proper complications kind of a thing, but symptom wise, if you let's classify them, more than 50% of diabetic patients after 5 years of duration of type 2 diabetes will complain some or the other of uh, symptoms which are related to diabetic foot. And uh, if you ask about the actual ulcers and f what everyone is scared about gangrene and all those things, well, in cities not much, but still I would pin it down to around five percent or so have. Uh, five percent of diabetics. Total have, diabetics uh, have some or the other ulcers or some infections or something. Basically, a diabetic foot is mostly considered to be of two varieties, isn't it? Muscular as well as neurological. Now, in that case, uh, vascular is considered to be more dangerous than neurological. Yeah, this was a question which was asked even in my exam, by the way. And uh, <laughs> which is worse, a, a vascular foot or so a neuropathic foot? No, my, my point is that patients ask, you know, uh, we get these emails, you know, yeah. and sometimes even I'm very surprised with these emails. Now, today yeah. we know that these are all questions which are asked in exams too. Exam. Oh, it was my <laughs> final, uh, this uh, diabetes exam, this was a question asked to me, which is worse, a, a vascular foot or a neuropathic foot? Yeah. Now, uh, for this, you know, you should be knowing a, a bit of a basics, okay? okay? What what are we saying? When we say that it's, it's a vascular foot, it means that the blood vessels or the blood supply is hampered, okay? Um, and when we say it's a neuropathic foot, the nerve supply, the sensations from your feet to the brain are hampered. The position sense, the, uh, the patient, diabetic patient with a neuropathic foot, uh, uh, will not know the position of his foot. A person sitting cross-legged for a long time in temples or at home, a neuropathic foot will not know that, okay, the pressures have increased to such a level that now it is harming his foot. Whereas a vascular foot will immediately, ha will have all these sensations intact. So a neuropathic foot is kind of a precursor for everything in a sense that he doesn't have any sensations about his... Uh, but doctor, are these two very independent uh, no, issues? No, I'm coming to that. Okay. Ultimately, a vascular foot will have some component of a neuropathic foot and vice versa. Though the uh, vascular component, okay, uh, uh, no, let me put it this way, they will overlap each other. Okay. Right? But if you if a specific question is put up that which is worse, then a neuropathic foot is, according to me is more harmful. Because let's say I have two patients, 
both have got some ulcer on their foot. One is just purely vascular because of, let's say he was smoker and just his blood vessels were blocked due to infection or some other reason. I would treat it, open it and treat it and treat the ulcer. A neuropathic foot, I would treat his ulcer. Mm -hmm. After the recurrence rate in the neuropathic foot will be more because he still doesn't have sensation and he will come back with the same problem because there are hardly any sensations over there. Whereas a vascular patient, if we, if we ask them to take care, he will be able to at least know what's going on at, in his foot down there. Okay, Doctor, that's actually an unconventional thought because usually we hear that vascular foot is more dangerous. Exactly. Uh, it, uh, the treatment-wise differs a bit. Ultimately, you should have a blood over there for anything to heal. So, I don't uh, disregard that fact that vessels have to be normal. Blood supply has to be normal. It can be corrected by multiple means nowadays. And once it is corrected, you can heal that foot. But if you have a neuropathic foot, it is, the chances of recurrences are much higher. And also, when you know, the when, you, uh, when the uh, diabetic actually hurts his feet or his or her feet, he doesn't even know it. Is it? That's also one of the reason why it gets. That is neuropathy. Exactly, it starts with neuropathy. That's right. Exactly. Okay, that's another issue. Does it always start with neuropathy or it can be vascular I mean, vascular problems? Also As start I told you, it overlaps each other. There are it's different... Not necessary that it starts with neuropathy? No, not at all. Okay. Not okay. at all. Doctor, another issue is that we wanted to ask you in specific is, are these troubles happening in diabetic foot reversible? Especially in elderly patients in type 2 cases. Have you seen any such uh, reversible uh, uh, instances. Are you asking about neuropathy? Yes, neuropathy as well as vascular. Okay. Um, diabetes, it's a progressive disorder. So over a period of time, as the duration of diabetes progresses, you're, you are going to have some or the other vascular problem as well as no, neuropathy. Right. Your vessels okay. are going to get narrowed over a period of time. Mm -hmm. They are going to become stiff and your nerves are going to have some effect of diabetes related to uh, sensations. Okay. So, um, if you detect neuropathy as well as vasculopathy way early in the du during the duration of diabetes, mm -hmm. even I would say before the symptoms arise, it is reversible. At least it can be halted at that particular level. Other, if you don't even know what's going on over there and you, I mean, we fail to kind of acknowledge that there is something going on in the, uh, in the feet as far as nerves and your blood vessels are concerned, it keeps on progressing. Once it's pro it progresses to certain level, it cannot be reversed. It can be at least hal halted at that place. Doctor, yeah. does uh, genetic predisposition also play a role in diabetic foot? Yes, it does. There are patients who um, no specific genes uh, identified, but there are patients who, who have diabetic foot running in their family, especially the symptoms part. See, when I say diabetic foot, it doesn't just mean that the foot is bad with ulcer and gangrene. It just means that they have some neuropathy or vasculopathy or some other changes related to diabetes. So there are patients who have these symptoms of diabetic foot running in their family. But doctor, for any, pay, uh, any diabetic with a duration of over 15 years of diabetes, will he not have some symptom of uh, neuropathy uh, in his foot? <clears throat> if a patient is very well controlled, has taken good care of himself as far as his medical reports are concerned, as well as his foot care is concerned, it's not necessary that they should have symptoms after 15 years of diabetes. We have patients who are more than 15-20 years and they're still hale and hearty and no complaints at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, you know, it's also that uh, uh, there are patients who, or rather there are diabetics who don't have any other problem except for diabetic foot. 
there are you know, diabetics who have every other problem but no diabetic problem. Yes, you so have those kind of things. Yes. We don't have a particular reason for why this can happen and not that, is it? Probably, yes. Okay, doctor, another email that we had was about uh, exercises. Can exercise, especially leg exercise, early in life prevent diabetic foot by, because they increase the circulation, yoga, these things can actually help in uh, preventing or avoiding or delaying diabetic foot? Exercise does help in preventing almost all the complications of diabetes, including diabetic foot. Leg exercises, meaning if, if, if a person walking. is asking walking, it's one of the best exercises, still you don't have any problem with your foot. If you have any ulcers or any infection or any wound on uh, uh, anywhere around your foot, that is where you are supposed to stop walking and take bed rest. But if you ask about prevention, yes, it improves circulation. If taken good care about footwear, about the pre and post exercise care of your feet, I think it in a long okay, run doctor. it will be now, that. Another email that we have is about you know what is the actual progress in diabetic foot cases. Okay, you get some tingling sensation. Now what would be the next thing that you should watch out for? Okay. And after that what happens? How, how does that actually it proceeds progress? Irrespective of any complic any symptoms, uh -huh. it is best to uh, examine your feet every day. Let me start with that. Okay. Now, the symptoms vary from person to person. In some patients complain of tingling numbness, some patients complain of pin prick sensation, some patients complain of just nothing, no symptoms but just slight swelling around the ankle. So there are no particular sequences in which the symptoms progress. But any symptom related to diabetic foot should be brought into notice to the treating physician and should be followed up and can, uh, kind of evaluated whether it was related is, to diabetes uh, rather, What is uh, your message to diabetics uh, in terms of uh, essentially type 2 diabetics or elderly people? Uh, message for them, don't get scared about your sugars. Mm -hmm. Your blood sugars Although uh, uh, the reports, the blood reports, although are very important for managing your uh, your uh, your future, mm -hmm. it's not the only thing. So don't just consider diabetes as blood sugars only. It has to do with everything as a body. It has to do a body as a whole. It includes your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your eyes, your kidneys, your heart, and your feet. So just getting a normal blood sugar report and forgetting about the rest of the things is really wrong.